Good morning, Lana Scott, Lighthouse. Today, guys, this is a reading for the Earth Signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This reading is going to be a little different today. It may not resonate for everyone. Um, they are definitely guiding me this morning for this message because this reading is going to be different than the ones I've been doing because I'm listening acutely to my spiritual counselors. I have called yours in. They are represented by the angels. These are also spirit guides, passed on loved ones, um, ascended masters, lineage angels, guardian angels. If y'all been listening to my channel anytime, you know, when I talk about lineage angels, lineage angels to me are ones that have been watching your family over time. And waiting for certain people with certain energies to be born. So this reading is going to be different this morning in that we've got our major, uh, in, we've got the overall, which they gave me this morning. They said this is overall. And then we've got the main energies coming in. Okay. What you don't see coming. Um, what you can, what is within your control and the overall ending to what you're going to find at the end. Guys, you see joy here, right? Okay. So. Um, and then as we progress, um, I, I've already medi I'm meditated on your cards. I'm going to be pulling certain cards um, through all of my decks here. This reading is not going to be like anything I've done before. So let's just begin, okay? We're going to start with the runes. And guys, this is definitely a channeled message because they are like chomping at the bit to give me messages for specific people. I've had some of you asking for private readings. And um, so I um, kind of went through and... A couple of you that want to do private readings, I am going to get to those. We are in the process of it's the holidays. Um, Daniel is tech for me, and my landlord, who's out of town right now, is also tech. And we are trying to get things so that I can set up a second email to do readings, or we might do Skype. We're not sure how it's going to work out yet, because I'm going to get both of them together so we can figure out something for me to be able to do readings for you guys. Okay. Um, I've already gotten a message from my, my spirit counselors to start doing readings. And then San at Sanskrit did something for the light workers and the healers, of which I am one, who also said it was time to start doing readings for people. So take that how it resonates for you. Um, I am going to, after have, I, am, I have kind of um, focused on uh, people that want private readings, but I ha I'm not mentioning no names or anything, but they do have me pulling some cards this morning, and then some major arcana, and then on the journey, what you're going to find, and um, they're going to give me messages as we go, so this morning, guys, I am wide open, and this is going to be a different reading this morning, so let's just dig in, and um, I'm going to put my phone here so I can pick the rooms up and show them to you and explain them as we go, let me give you an overall shot first, so overall for this reading, we have going through a portal, completion of beginnings, Okay, because something is now changing. Okay, we also have a breakthrough in the process of self change, path of destiny. And like again, this may not resonate for everybody, but there may be a nugget in here for you. So if you like my readings and you've been listening to them, something may come through for you. I'm not making the promises here, it's whatever they give me. Take it how it resonates. Okay, um, so let's just begin here, guys. Okay, so first of all, we have. August, and they're talking about how a lot of people have already realized what their gifts are, okay, and all of us are becoming stronger, moving closer towards the 5D, and things are now in a process of, of major change, okay, um, going through the end of the year and going into 2024, all right, so the, for, the next thing that they have is we have gift, Gibbon. They're saying that there are new partnerships coming in for some of y'all. Rather, they're online, people that you meet, uh, new situations that are opening up that are going to be on your spiritual path. You're going to be getting more signs and synchronicities, new growth, because they are now starting to, where they have been trying to put things into place, things are now starting to fall into place. It just depends on where you're at in your path and how they're going to resonate for you, what you make up your mind about as you come across these things. Things, people, places, things, things on the internet, things in your own life, um, depending on if you, you're like moving, not moving, if you're staying place and working where you're at, um, but all kind of new things coming in as we go through these shifts between the astrological things that are happening, the end of the holidays, the end of the year and going into the next year, they're telling me this, this is something that's going to be playing out over the next three to six months, um, and a lot of major change coming in guys, okay, um, <clears throat> 
So take that how that resonates. The next thing we've got is, guys, we have Burka, Earth Mother. Guys, some of you that are Earth healers, some of you that are working with Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, um, new groups, new people, new places, new things that you have discovered about yourself as a healer, light worker, psychic medium, psychic dreams, working with a spirit guide on the astral. A lot of new things are coming in right now. Okay, and may, some of you are not even aware that on the astral level at night when you sleep, your spirit guides and angels are directing you now towards something that they that is meant for you that you're going to find as things move along because next guys they gave us movement. Okay, and guys are saying this is major movement. This is again new partnerships and meeting up new um just new things where you are meant to use your gifts rather you've again like I said move somewhere new um you've got something new going online you're getting in the process of getting something going you're um meeting up with um new energies getting and getting rid of old stuff too guys because they're showing me that they're saying yours is next and it's strength and they're saying it's also acting as a doorway again just like just like um Ying is here being a doorway okay so they're saying that a lot of you are going to start noticing all these things all right and they say you are going to be getting messages either through your inner ear if you're clear of uh, clear audience some of you are going to get messages through um clairvoyance whether you're seeing little little mini pictures of things to come or you get a lot of deja vus guys i had like three days in a row where i got i mean every time i turned around it was like gee i dream i, I dreamed this i know i did i had or a memory of a dream or you're just becoming hyper aware so guys pay attention to that because things are getting ready to shift they're telling me and a lot of major stuff is coming in and guys the reason why they're telling me this is because i've had a couple of you reach out and say i want you to do private readings and they're telling me read people so we're trying to get that in line because they have some major messages for you so guys pay attention to your dreams write your dreams down journal um they're saying pay attention because some of the things you're asking about you're getting ready to get answers for rather it's through a reading through your own intuition major things are coming in so pay attention okay now what you don't see coming guys then they give me they're giving me a fellow they're saying a lot of you are going to be doing new foundations new groups new um hyper awareness of where to do your energies where to seek out answers where to find your own answers and major soul growth, major um, spiritual growth, major everything. Guys, everything is shifting and changing going into this next year because things on the outside aren't maybe going to be as smooth as things change up within um, on the political scene, the the planets, the astrological going on in the planets. A lot of energy is going outside and you're going to have to pay attention to what's going on on the inside with you to be able to see where to go because it's going to be harder to a certain extent, to be able to move around things, okay, simply because things in like on the planet are going to be shifting and changing, but they're they're by your side, they've got you, they've got your back, and they are giving you the stepping stones of where you need to go, so you really need to pay attention, guys, okay, um, then what we have is we have relief from distress. Some of you are going to find it easy. Some of you not so much. But they are saying that a lot of more clear audience, clairvoyance, and psychic dreams are going to be coming into play. Lots of those deja vus. Guys, pay attention to that because they are showing you your path and putting things into place. For some of you, it won't go as fast. Some of you, it's going to go faster, they're saying. And they're saying, but they are there with you and to, you know, pay attention. Now they're saying some things that, that, that are going to be out of our control because we have Hagalus, which is uh, elemental disruption. Guys are saying some things are out of their control, like major shifts going on with the governments, the way things are, you know, if you're in the States, on a, you know, state by state, things are changing. Um, things in the government are changing. Things in the way people um, are um, looking at things, moving things around, and just a lot of things that you know they can't control but they're trying to make sure that they guide you and tell you where you need to go okay some of you are going to find that you're going to have to wait a bit you're going to have to maybe uh, some of you will have to defend um, what you're wanting to do they're saying guys don't listen to the naysayers because they've got because then guys they've got us they've got radio which is your your um chariot you moving in the future and results of your your um 
what you put into it. Some of you are going to have to put in effort for where you want to go, what you want to do, and not just sit around and wait for something to happen. You're going to have to make things happen. Okay. But they're saying if you do and you pay attention to what they're telling you to do, that you will um, start moving where they need you. Because guys, we're moving into a time where they're telling me that that we are things are over this next year things are going to be shifting in such a way that they're trying to move people places things around so that when the shit hits the fan that there are people in place healers light workers psychic um psychic uh, mediums um people that have psychic dreams have special gifts can help people that are falling through the cracks because your services are going to be needed guys take that how it resonates if you feel like you are on fire you are guys i went through that a short while back and then i kind of went through a resting up for the next phase i've just come through that and they're telling me get ready okay it's almost the end of the year and things are going to start shifting and some of you that have suddenly found that you had to move go to a new place people have dropped off new people have come into your life that's happening for a reason and on purpose they're saying guys pay attention to that okay then then i asked them okay so what is within someone's control okay so then they've given me thurias which is having already moved through this portal okay because this guys i tell y'all this is this is like this portal cut into half and this is you coming through it okay so this is where they have shifted things around you're starting to see it um maybe you suddenly got a new job somewhere from the west coast to the east coast or from one part of your country to the other and you decided to move that's where they've put you on purpose because that's where you're going to be needed okay guys take that how it resonates and then we've got reverse flow some of you will be finding people dropping off guys um you're going to find some people are going to be mad about this Okay, because reverse lagoons is a feminine room. Some of you are going to have mothers, sisters, um, some of the feminine, the higher, um, higher vibe energy people in your life that have always been there aren't going to be real happy with some of the decisions you make. Guys, it's meant to happen for a reason. Keep in touch with those people that love you, but the people that ex-girlfriends, ex-mother-in-laws, um, or anyone that's that's always that has always been a naysayer, you need to kick them to the curb because they, they're they saying that they are moving us around, rather, what you're doing on the internet or where you're physically moving or however you're physically interacting with people, they are putting you into place where they need you, okay? So they're just saying be prepared for that, all right? Now, they're also saying that as we move along to the different places and things, and, and guys, just if y'all been following my channel for here lately, ever since, I mean, me and Daniel have been running back and forth between my place and his place, moving things around. So they're putting, they're shifting things up in my life as well for that when I give messages and the messages come through, I'm where I need to be, okay? But it's going to be the same for a lot of you. However you feel the energy shifting and changing, it's going to be better. It may not seem like it. You may not notice it on a day-to-day -day basis. But guys, they're shifting us all around and moving us where they need us to be. Okay? It's like we're like a spiritual army. <laughs> it's what I'm feeling like. But I'm just telling you guys that they're just going to be, you know, gradually you are going to see the fruits of your labors and you know either rather you get it through more income rather you get it through the people that you're helping rather you find something all of a sudden that you have a tribe which is what we have next we have going from the microchism to the macrochism your gifts expanding you meeting up with the people that are meant to you and them this group of people whoever you may be coming um in a new way helping people um rather new spiritual groups or new um new new um things that you're doing online however this microchism to the macrochism plays out for you okay is it, you will have some control over that because things aren't going you're going you're going to know where where you're feeling pulled to go they're saying and there's a lot of success and wholeness on that guys they're saying that I'm hearing Superman. A lot of you are going to feel like all of a sudden you are kind of like, because you're going to feel like your gifts are being called to be used. And you are going to, with your middle eye, you're going, your, your crown chakra, you're going to start seeing the results of where you're at, what you're doing and how you are meant to be helping people. And it is going to bring in prosperity, guys. Okay, even I, me and other um, seers I'm noticing are, are feeling that pull of how can we add them, give the most value and help people the most. But yeah, we still have bills to pay and we still have things we have to do. So, guys, you're going to have some success on those levels of how you help people. You might go help someone and 
you know, and give somebody a ride and they say, you know, I don't have no gas money, but here I got a loaf of bread and some lunch meat. I mean, you got kids here. I got something I can feed them with. You're going to see a lot of bartering going on. You're going to see a lot of, of how you have an equal exchange of energy with other people. And guys are saying, take that, how it resonates, take it. The gifts that come in, take them because you're having an equal exchange of energy and you're moving that. We're helping to move energy along the planet. Okay, guys, all the seers, the psychic dreamers, the earth healers, the laying on of hands healers, the Reiki healers, the therapists, the, the teachers, the however you're being shifted and called into service. Guys, you may not see it all at once. It's not like you're going to suddenly have money dumped in your lap, even though money itself has its own energy. But they're saying you're going to see how you're helping and how you're getting that back at the same time. Okay, guys. So then for the end of the reading, they're giving us spiritual attainment and joy guys no matter how it plays out for you you're gonna find joy in it you know say okay so there's showing me somebody stopping to give a mom and her kid a ride to the store their guys are saying little things like that are gonna make a difference okay it's gonna bring joy into people's lives and you're gonna feel like you're gonna you're gonna feel like superwoman superman because even though it's a small thing they're saying pay attention to that because that's where you're being needed okay in whatever way um they're showing me somebody going to a homeless shelter and helping out bringing food or bringing clothes that their kids no longer can wear um maybe going to a local soup soup bank because you have the day off and you decide i just want to do something for charity today and you go out and you help cook or you help serve and bring out food maybe you go to the local goodwill and drop off a bunch of stuff maybe you um you're coming out of walmart or your favorite grocery store and somebody needs you know you see someone saying we'll work for food and you're like hey i don't have i don't have a job for you but here i got five bucks and they get to eat for the day guys are saying all those little things are making a difference okay so no matter how you're called into service even if you don't see it. Okay, they're showing me. They're telling me to do this. Hang on, guys. Oh, I love this. Uh, all right, guys. So I don't know if any of y'all remember when I did when I did this, and I was taught this by somebody a long time ago. Guys, every time you help someone, take a paper clip and add it to another. I haven't added to this in a long time. Okay, but guys, it's like triple actually this link. Every time, start start a chain. Every time you do something, take a paper clip. Add it to something and hang it somewhere. You give someone a ride to the store, okay? You dropped off clothes at Goodwill, okay? Somebody said, hey, I mean, hey, man, I, hey, you over there washing your car. I need I need two quarters. Can I bum two quarters to finish doing my car? Guys, everything you do, make a paper chain so at the end of the week, the month, the day, the year, you can see that you have made a difference, okay? Guys, I've done so many more things than, because every one of these represents something I've done for someone. Rather, I took someone to the store, let someone bum a cigarette, let someone... You know, um, took somebody to the to wherever I needed to go. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever way, make do you one of these paper clips so that you can see you make a difference every day because you are being asked to do things. You are being called into service. Okay, guys, take that how it resonates. But guys, I tried to do that. I, I'm, I'm always trying to do something for somebody. I have one lady who used to live here. She has a little girl. Her ex husband's nowhere around. She does have a boyfriend, but every time I see her and her little girl. I give her little girl a couple of bucks in the dollar store to go buy herself a little something. Guys, I try to make a difference every single day. Okay? So that's the main message. Now, the next part of this that they want me to do. They want me to shuffle the card part of um, the, the court cards to um, pull a couple of people and then tell you some specific messages. Guys, take this how it resonates. Um... I'm just going to pull a couple of these and then give y'all a couple of, a couple of meanings that is either going to resonate for you now from the recent past or going into the future of something that you're going to do. Um, male or female, it doesn't matter if it's a male card or a female card. Um, it's just the energy. Um, and I am thinking right now about a specific person that asked me to do a reading. I'm not saying no names. Take it how it resonates. Um, and I'm just going to pull a, I'm going to pull one of the high, one of the court cards. Male or female, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to pull a couple of cards and either resonates with you or it doesn't. That's what they want me to do this morning. So that's what I'm going to do. So on the bottom. Um, so I've got this um, Knight of Wands. This is not a teenager. It's somebody in their 20s. Okay. Male or female, it doesn't matter. All right. So what is the message for this person? Spirit guides, angels, counselors of other people. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Who... What what do you want them to know? What do you want them to know? What do you want them to know? 
What do you want them to know? Okay. On the bottom. Okay. You're letting go of something, some, something, uh, whoever this person is, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, you are getting rid of, rid of one old idea. You're starting a new one. Guys, my right ear is going off. Um, you're going to have some growth with this new idea or these new people that you're going to meet. If you're in, in, if you are in a quandary about two different things, pick the one that resonates the most with you. And that's where you're going to start seeing growth at. Okay. You have the strength to do whatever it is that you're wanting to do. They're saying this is also like algas. Um, whatever it is that is holding you back, you need to let go of and give the death to it. Because this other thing that you're thinking about is going to um, resonate more with you. It's going to bring you more growth and joy than what the other thing was. So this is somewhere where someone has an idea. Two different things they're saying, whichever one resonates with you the most, let go of. The new thing's going to give you more joy and more happiness. And you're going to you're going to somehow, some way... Um, make a difference with the second idea whichever that however that resonates for you okay all right guys let me pull another one i'm gonna shuffle again for a new person new person new person new person mm -hmm. okay so now we have the queen of swords so this is somebody that is uh, female or male doesn't matter. Um, I feel like it's a female. Um, they're saying you are very intellectual. You um, don't let your emotions sway you. Um, that you are, um, you lead with your head, but you do pay attention to your heart. Okay. Oops, sorry guys. So let me see. So what are, what are they wanting you to, what are they wanting to tell you? This person may have red hair. You are in a period of transformation, but you know this. You know what your healing gifts are, and you are somebody that fights for the underdog in some sort of way. They're saying you're highly intuitive. Um, you are one of these people that when you have kids or if you have kids, your kids have psychic abilities, and you know this. May This may be a, somebody with cancer in their chart, okay? But they're saying you're also highly intuitive and you can see through the ether and your spirit guards and angels are with you and you already know this they're saying whatever you're doing right now you know you're on the correct path and you are going to have a lot of success doing whatever this is okay and they're saying you help other people what is this other thing they're telling me here um i think this is a 19 card they're saying this is somebody that may be um, married, but you're already having success in whatever you're doing. And whatever you're doing, you're on the right path. Keep going, whoever you are, whoever this woman or uh, man is here. All right, guys, I'm going to pull one more. Oh, they're just telling me to play them. And then we have a Queen of Cups, guys. <clears throat> this is someone that leads with her heart. She may have kids, a couple of kids, and she's not married, and she is trying to figure out where she can do the most good and also get more lead with her heart, but also make enough money that she can take care of her kids because her ex-husband's a jerk. So, guys, take that how it resonates, okay? But I do believe that you are listening to your angels and ancestors. You are also talking to them in your at, on the astral level when you go to sleep at night. They say this person maybe adopted or have adopted one of her kids or maybe something to something else to do with kids, guys. A school teacher, bus driver. You have at least three kids. You are very heart driven, but at the same time, you want to bring more prosperity in for you and your kids. Let's see what they say. Um, okay, this person. Um, it's very grounded. 
maybe wanting to get married again and have a bigger family or, or may even be pregnant. Or this may be an older woman who one of her kids is getting ready to tell her they're pregnant. Tell you how it resonates, guys. Which now said she wants a new journey of being a grandparent or some kind of... Um, some kind of, um, maybe you're someone that you have kids and you work with children, you're a teacher or you work for CASA taking care of a, uh, you, you have, you have a foster home. They're saying you may be getting ready to get another one or you may take on a young lady that's pregnant. Okay, guys, take that how it resonates and you're very strong and you're willing to take this on because you know this is your mission. Okay. All right, guys, that's what I have for the personals. That's what they gave me. All right. We're going to put these together, and I'm just going to put them off to the side, because now uh, they're telling me to pull some of these other, um, hang on just a minute, guys. All right, so um, more messages now for other Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus that may, um, for what's going on in your life right now, on your journey, so that you know this message is for you, or what you're getting ready to encounter, or what you're going through right now on your path some of you okay so they're saying um on the on this right here some of you are already on the steps of your path of where you're headed to and that these are just meant to be guidelines for you or give you give you give you a hint that your intuition is right into where you're going So on the split, guys, I got one ring circus. Some of you are on a path all by yourself, but you know exactly where you're going. You have the skills and the wisdom to do it. You know what you know what you're getting in for. Others of you, or, uh, well, the other card we have is coming together. Some of you are meeting up with groups, starting a business, um, having people come in to help you. Okay. Um, they're also saying all your chakras are open. You know what your gifts are. And they said your prize or whatever it is you're trying to do is in sight. Okay, so that however, whatever's coming together for you right now, rather it's a new business, a new home that you just bought, a new place that you're moving to, it's getting ready to be finalized. Okay, that's what we got on the split, guys. All right. Slow and steady wins the race. Encouragement, keep on going. For those of you that are starting a new business, slow and steady wins the race. You are getting there and you're listening to your angels and your spirit guides. And you have a spirit guide that is going with you. And they're saying, keep going because we have your back. Okay. On the spark card, they're telling me that some of you, um, your chakras are all open. And that you are following your heart. They're saying somebody wants to open a music store or wants to somehow bring music to other people. And that by doing this, you're going to open up that that psychic mothy energy that you sometimes hear saying talk about. They're saying some of you, when you open up this bookstore or music store or what, some kind of little business that you want to start. They're saying, okay, they're showing me a woman that has is opening up a business and she's got it's like. She's got like musical instruments in one place. She's got books in another. She's all about the arts the, and literature. Maybe she has some incenses and kind of thing, other things, pagan or, or earth, earthy energy type things like incense candles, that kind of thing. Some kind of little specialized thrift store. They're saying you're going to have a lot of success with that. Okay, guys, take that how it resonates. Someone is trying to open up some, and they've been talking a little bit about a business here lately. They say you are getting there. Okay. Some of you, it's going to require a balancing act, but they say you have all the help that you need. Some of you are going to jump timelines by doing your own thing and in it opening up for you, okay? And they're saying that going into the future, you're going to be really happy that you did this and that you do have everything you need to make this work for you and you are doing it out of a place of love, okay? They're also saying on the astral level... You are meeting up with some kind of a new spirit guide or angel that has been um, um, 
talking to you that you're now starting to listen because during the daytime you're having these deja vus that when you have these deja vus you're going back in your mind you're going oh wait did I dream that no guys on the astral level this spirit guide or angel or someone that is got you got your back on your spiritual counselors they are telling you what's going to happen or how to deal with it or whatever and when that deja vu comes that's where, that's when they're telling you bingo yes you just got it you in some way understood it guys 11 is a power number it's also that um finding happiness at the end of the rainbow like 11 11 okay so this is an angel number one of your angels is definitely making contact with you okay so then we've got movement guys and we've got goblins. So they're telling me that as some of you, as you're moving to a place where you need to be, rather it's online, physical or, or mental, okay, that you're headed down the right path, okay? They're saying some of you are letting some of your doubts and fears get in the way. Guys, write that down on a piece of paper and burn that shit because they're saying don't don't lose faith keep faith in yourself because you are headed to where you need to go don't let naysayers if you've got, if you've got even one old friend that always questions what you want to do quit talking to that person because they are trying to slow down your energy keep your faith and know that nobody can tell you how to live your life okay you see this light see how it's all dark they're saying these are the corners and recesses of your mind Maybe some of you on the astral level are even expressing doubts to your spirit guides and angels. And they're trying to tell you, let, let that crap go. Okay, guys, take that how it resonates. Guys, I feel like my room is so full this morning. Okay, so some of you are only slowing, only being kept back because of the thoughts and the, the you're letting the naysayers get to you. Guys, kick those people to the damn curb. Seriously. Seriously. I don't let nobody tell me how to live my life anymore. Nobody. Nobody. All right, guys, let's see what other energies y'all are going to y'all are gonna um, find along the way that might let you know that this is message is for you. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. We're wide open this morning. Give me some messages. Um, guide my hands. Guide the card. Let these let these um, Virgos, Capricorn, Tauruses know this message is for them and that they're on the right path or whatever message energy you want to let them know. Whatever message is that you want to, that wants to come through from them. Whatever kind of energy. Guys are saying some of these messages are not going to be Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Um, it, it, it could be um, um, your sun, your moon, or your rising sign. That uh, could be Virgo Capricorn or Taurus. And they're saying some of you may not be that sign at all. That some of these messages are meant for people that don't have none of that, um, that are not those specific signs. But that when you see it, you'll know if it's meant for you. Take it how it resonates, guys. And they're telling me this is how they want me to do the readings this morning. Said so we're going with what they tell me. Oops. <laughs> On the split, guys, we got Spirit Keeper of the North. Guys, this is starting from a grounded position. This is Earth energy to me. This is, there's also loads of psychism and intuition here. Um, they're saying this is stability, new foundation. Some of you, when you stop let, listening to these naysayers or, the, or cleaning out, like doing some meditation and cleaning out those dark recesses of your psyche, of your intuition, or the, the, the things that you feel like the doubt, they say you're going to have new stability and new foundation. And guys, that played out right here on, with the runes as well. Oh, I don't know if y'all can even see that This because the lighting is so bad in here today. Guys, we've got fog out there. Um, Othello, okay, so new foundations, guys, take that how it resonates, okay, the next thing we have is the white buffalo on the split too, guys, they're saying a lot of you have had this new spirit guide or new angel or new ancestor come in, that's been waiting for you, and you are starting to pay attention to those messages, and you are now clearing out the fog in your mind, and you are headed to where you need to be going, okay, So what else? Some of you, they're saying, tribal spirit. Okay, guys are saying, some of you are definitely kicking these 
naysayers to the curb. You're finding a new group. You're finding new people that have the same ideals and visions as you do. If you're on a vision quest, you are going to find new guides, new people, rather in the physical realm, in the spiritual realm, that are going to lead you to where you need to be, okay? And that you are going to have a lot of new energies coming in that's going to make you feel lighter, freer, lifted up, um, because you are going to, on the psychic realm especially, find new common ground and energies with other people, new groups that are going to help you to do this either one specific thing that you want to do, or you'll find other like-minded people that will lift you up, that will help you to do something as a group, or give you guidance along the way. So guys, take that how it resonates, okay? Then we have vision quests. Guys, again, some of you are now seeking out, you, those of you that have gotten rid of this goblin energy, you are now starting to use what you have at your disposal in the way of your psychic dreams, your um, spirit guide or energies through the astral level, going through the ether, um, passed on loved ones are helping you, and you are now moving forward. Some of you are going to start moving forward very, very quickly there, Saturn. Guys, take that how it resonates, okay? Some of you are now going to start seeing the fruits for your labors, okay? Some of you, the Eagle Medicine always speaks to me, guys, about... Um, Coming in at a time when somebody else needs you and fighting for someone that cannot speak for themselves. So again, guys, I keep picking this message up about, about teachers, counselors, therapists, clergy that come in to help children, elderly people, those that cannot. And I still keep seeing a lady that goes to court that works for CASA or is um, a uh, some kind of social worker for the elderly or children that comes in. And when they see her coming or him coming, it could be a guy, they see you coming, they're like, oh, hell. Because they know they're most likely going to lose because you got your shit together. Guys, I literally heard, got your shit together. So guys, take that out. It resonates, okay? Uh, all right, they're telling me to shuffle again. Hang on, guys. Okay, any messages for anyone else? Split. I hear you, I hear you. And bottom. Okay, nature spirits. Guys, some of you that are, that are, um, taking time to, um, go walk, take walks or camping, some of you may be thinking about taking a camping trip. Some of you are... Some Okay, they're giving me two messages. One is, some of you may be taking time off during this time um, to go on camping trips, spend time with family, going back to the homestead. There's going to be messages for the, you there. Others of you, on the astral level, you're going to go through a portal, through the ether, and you're going to find a spirit guide or a passed on loved one, maybe a parent that passed away, they're saying, that's going to give a message to you that when you wake up within a couple of months, you're going to see or hear something. You're going to remember this portal and this passed on loved one and the message they gave you. But there's going to be some time between the time you go through and talk to them on the other side and the time that you have it as a deja vu that's going to tell you something that you need to know about the path you're meant to take and that right now you've got some confusion but this passed on loved one or spirit guide is going to come in through the astral level through the ether during a dream and during a um at some time in the near future you're going to have a deja vu or a memory of a dream or something someone says or does or maybe even during something during something a change of season they're showing me like a doorway here guys two doorways a doorway within a doorway i don't know what that means but they're pointing out this is like a doorway i don't know if you can see it on the card see uh, yeah see it right there it's oblong see that doorway oh tv oh okay they're saying some of you are gonna get this message from this this angel ancestor passed on loved one you'll be sitting in front of your computer or in front of a TV, and you're going to see something, rather a song, a movie, or something like that. And they're saying, it's going to spark off in you something, and you're going to go, oh, I know what I need to do next. Oh, I know who I'm supposed to help. I know, oh, let me go call so-and-so. You're going to see or hear something on the TV, on, on YouTube, on um, a computer, TV. Take it how it resonates, guys. But then, within three months, you're going to get this 
ding, 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 and you're going to know what to do, and your whole everything's going to shift and change. I mean, they're literally showing me, go this way, then you're going to go, boom, this way, real fast. Guys, take that how it resonates, okay? I don't know how else to, I, I just know what they're telling me right here. Okay, guys? Okay. <laughs> um, and then they're saying last card. So the next card that we have is Song of the Wild. So they're saying... Oh, guys, I'm getting real heady. Um, so they're saying that, again, you're suddenly going to have all this light open up. And a lot of you are going to have this ancestor or this angel, this spirit guy who's been waiting for you with this message. That all of a sudden, everything's going to open up in such a way that you're going to know beyond a shadow of a doubt in your gut, this is what you're meant to do. And look at all this light, guys, at the end of the rainbow. And all this psychic dream psychic vision they're saying guys hang on i'm trying to pull i'm also hearing dragon because it looks like a dragon's face here some of you may like have a dragon energy or maybe some of you have been looking up dragon energy they're also saying angels too a, 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 um, a lineage angel or a special guardian angel or an ascended master when you get to this, some of you with this nature spirit card, some of you that aren't going to have this, but you're in another way to do it, the vision quest. They're saying these three go together, guys, and they're saying something's going to huge is going to come in for several of y'all on it, you know, either through this message from this, this passed on loved one or this vision quest that you do. You're going to maybe even jump a couple of timelines, meet up with this other energy that is just going to, you're going to feel like you're on fire, they're saying. Guys, take that how it resonates. So, guys, that's what I have for y'all. Oh, my God, this is the longest message I've ever done. They have just sent so many channeled messages in this morning, guys. Whoo! Lordy, have mercy. All right, guys. Um, we are going into the longest reading I have ever done. Um, because they had me pull these cards for you. So, guys, take this how it all resonates. I think a lot of you are going to see a lot of this on some kind of way, level, however it comes in for you. Um... Um, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, they're saying that's the end. Guys, that's huge. That's just huge. Take it how it resonates, guys. I hope this helps someone. This is Lana Scott Lighthouse. Guys, be a light in the darkness. You are attracting in everything they're pointing out to me that I picked an orange candle, which I didn't know I did. I, I don't even pay attention more, guys. I just bring a candle because to me, it helps me to focus on their energies. And they're saying more portals coming in, more of you going through portals and attracting in, you know, paths opening up for what you need to be doing in these next six months. Guys, pay attention to that. All right. Love and light. Be a light in the darkness, guys. Be a lighthouse. Be a hero. Be your own hero. Be a future world changer, guys. Light, light, uh, light workers. Uh, healers, earth healers, psychic mediums, people with psychic abilities, laying on of hands, healing the earth, healing people. We are so going to be needed in these next six months, they're saying, and on. I mean, you may not see it every day, guys, but it's going to be happening. Until next time, guys. Bye. Love and light.